Hi soulmates, here's a tutorial on how to draft and cut a strapless or a tube dress with a slit. If this looks like what you like to learn, then this video is definitely for you. My name is Veronica Adams Aze. Welcome to Vera Adams YouTube channel. So right here, without wasting time, let's get started. So here's the pattern paper I'll be working on. I've gone ahead to draft the basic bodice pattern. If you don't know how to do this, you can check a previous videos on how to do this. The measurements we're working with right here is bust 36 inches, waist 32 inches, hip 40 inches. I've also gone ahead to mark the same 10 inches on the hem of the dress. So it is not a pencil dress. I've gone ahead to open the pattern paper up and right from the hem of this pattern paper I'll be measuring 10 inches upwards. So but from the shoulder I discovered that it might be too open so I decided to go down by 30 inches from the shoulder. On that same point I'm going to take 4 inches away from the center of the paper just as you're seeing me doing right here and I'll also move down to the hem and also mark 4 inches. And then I'll connect these points together with the ruler. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to go ahead to take two inches on both sides of the point. I think I did this recording off camera. I didn't know my camera wasn't recording at the time. So from that four inches point, I marked two inches on both sides. So we have a total of four inches. Since I don't want a pointy edge, I'm going to go ahead to curve it inward so that it is slightly curved at that point, just as you're seeing me doing right here. There isn't an exact measurement for this, so you just have to use your own discretion. So I'm going ahead to use my marker pen to trace it out so it becomes more visible. Moving on, I'm going to go ahead to fold the paper back just as you see me doing right here and i'm drawing out the chest line i didn't indicate it earlier so i've gone ahead to do that right at this point i want to determine how low the strapless dress is going to be so i'm coming down by one inch from the chest line and i'm marking dotted lines to represent this for a perfect fit along the upper bust region without gaping you need to measure your upper chest that's from one side of the armhole on your chest to the other side as indicated with the picture here so the measurement i'm working with here is 14 inches 14 inches divided by two that's seven inches i've gone ahead to mark seven inches and right from the bust line i'm connecting to meet that point i eventually decided to come up by 0.5 inches away from that point that i marked because i don't want it to be so revealing i don't want it to reveal the armpit so much so but if you don't mind it's actually fine so i'm using my marker pen to trace the second point out so that we do not make a mistake while cutting at this point you can go ahead to play around the shape you can decide not to do a straight one as this and decide to do a v neckline or any form of neckline that you might want but for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to follow through the inspiration and we'll be sticking with this straight part right at this point you can go ahead to start cutting it out for the back of this dress the only difference is that you're going to add your zipper allowance so once you're done cutting this out you can go ahead to use this same pattern to cut out the back just add your zipper allowance and you're good to go if you found this video useful do well to give it a thumbs up by clicking on the like button if this is your first time here do well to subscribe to this youtube channel so that you can be a part of the family and of course, if you have any question, do not hesitate to drop it in the comment section. I'll be there to respond to you. I actually decided that I wanted this point to be wider. So I'm going ahead to mark it out. So if you want this shape, if you are fine with what you have here, then it's okay. But if you want it wider, know that you can make it as wide as you want. It all depends on your preference. So here's what it looks like when we fold it up and when we open it so you can actually decide to do to create this slit 
on both sides on both the left or the right or you could decide to just do it on one side you can decide if it's the left you want it or on the right and of course if you haven't noticed this is a dartless strapless dress or you could as well call it a dartless tube dress and now we have come to the end of this tutorial if you found it useful click on the like button and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified each time i upload a new video and i'll see you in my next one bye